We can also form a hydrate or a geminal dial from an aldehyde or ketone in water in acid. Now the acid that you would use in this case would need to be an oxy acid and it would need to be dilute. If it were a strong acid um, like HCl or HBr or HI, that halide would be a competing nucleophile in the reaction and you don't want something like that. This is why you need to use an oxy acid for these types of processes. Now you can use an aldehyde or a ketone. I'm going to use an aldehyde again just like I did for the base catalyzed. So that R group can be anything you want. That hydrogen doesn't necessarily have to be a hydrogen. But you would have a dilute oxy acid on top of your arrow. My favorite, sulfuric acid, but you can use others. And you need to have water present. So, as we've seen many a time with sulfuric acid, it acts as a proton donor. And so somebody has got to be the base, has got to be the electron pair donor. And the only one capable of doing that is the oxygen. So the oxygen is going to pick up this proton from the sulfuric acid, and you're going to make a new intermediate. It's, the, it's going to have some resonance stabilization of this positive charge as well. Well, this is the predominant resonant structure, but there is another. The one on the left is definitely preferred because everybody has got an octet. The one here on the right, the carbon neal carbon does not have an octet, but these are the two resonant structures. And you can use either one as you continue on. Now, at this point, you need to have a nucleophile. The hydrogen sulfate anion, I hope you remember, has resonance delocalization of its negative charge, so it's a pathetic nucleophile. But you also have water, and you have lots of it. It is not really that great of a base. It could pick up the proton, but that won't get you anywhere productive, so don't do it. And the other option is for it to act as a nucleophile, and it will act as a nucleophile toward the carbonyl carbon. As it adds, carbon cannot have pi bonds, so you need to break the pi bond to give the electrons back to the oxygen. If you want to do it from the other resonance structure, just add it. And then you're going to get the same thing. You're going to get um, the following. You're going to see this very often when you do acid-catalyzed additions of something to the carbonyl compounds. You'll see this often. Okay. This is now where we are at. You've got the conjugate acid of the geminal dial or the conjugate acid of the hydrate. And at this point your solvent, which you should have lots of because it's the solvent, will act as the base and remove the proton. This is really an equilibrium. It doesn't really matter which one of these guys has the proton, but we want to get to the hydrate, so we're going to give the proton to the solvent here. This is how we can get that hydrate in acid. We've got our other ions in solution.